In this video, we want to look at the settings necessary to begin using the Civil Geometry tools in MicroStation. And to begin, we'll look at the Settings Design File command. Under there, there's an option for Civil Formatting, and this is going to control a lot of the formatting of data that goes into the Civil Geometry commands. Uh, for example, if we scroll down, we can see uh, Design Speed Units, whether those are in miles per hour or kph. Uh, the format of our coordinate readouts can either be X, Y, or northern easting. We can control the precision of the data output, our ratios on our slopes, for example, and formatting of stationing, and also some important um, factors like the degree of curve length, um, and also the degree of curve measurement, whether it's along an arc or along a chord. All those are going to be set here in civil formatting. Once those are set, you can go to uh, Tools and go to Civil Geometry and turn on the Features Toggle Bar. Uh, this will bring up a dialog that allows you to control some settings uh, as you create Civil Geometry, um, such as picking features from the list that, to set your active features, uh, to chain elements together and to either obey or do not obey or store or do not store the rules as the geometry elements are created. This is in the features toggle bar. Next important toolbar you might want up as you start to work in this is the civil AccuDraw. Tools, civil AccuDraw, and activate the civil AccuDraw toolbar. By creating elements while using the civil AccuDraw, it will remember the rules used to create the elements and maintain those as elements are edited. Finally, we'll want to bring up the Items Browser, which we can hit by either hitting the Items Browser icon here in the toolbars, or we can go to File and turn on Items Browser. Items Browser uh, store, will store all the Civil Geometry items. It'll show which ones are selected. And in particular, I want to look at the Content Management task here under the Items Browser. And uh, you'll notice right now I don't have any of the features brought in, uh, in this case from Bentley Rail Track Suite. So I want to bring in the current feature styles from the XIN. And to do that, I'm going to right click on the Content Manager. I'm going to hit Input, Import Feature Styles. What that'll do is that'll bring in all feature styles from the current XIN that's loaded uh, in inroads. Once I import that in, you can see that it brought in, it shows the source, it shows all my linear feature styles. Now these feature styles have options associated to each of them. If we click on the first feature style, for example, we go over to the details pane and we can see the, the name of the style. We can see that auto annotate is currently set to false. If we want it to uh, do automatic annotations while this style is being placed, we can turn that on. And auto persist is true and that controls data being written directly to the ALG inside of inroads.